I've had a YouTube channel for seven years now and over that period of time I've grown to 7,000 subscribers and gotten monetized and I have gotten a ton of free products over the years and worked with a bunch of cool brands but none of those things are the reason I think you should start a YouTube channel if you've been considering one a lot of the benefits I think to having a YouTube channel are a lot less flashy from the outside and are actually like more deeply rooted in your life and your growth this thought actually came about because I saw a TikTok talking about brain neuroplasticity and how at any point of our lives we can create new connections and make stronger connections in our brain so as we go through our life and as we experience different things our brain is constantly changing along with it and it really made me question like over these seven years even though like I'm not a super stellar youtuber with millions of followers and like tons of brand deals what are some ways that having a youtube channel has affected my life and what are some like changes I've seen in myself over the years so these are my reasons for you if you've been on the edge of starting a youtube channel why i would really recommend it and why i think you should start one one of the most important things that i've realized about youtube videos or making any kind of art in general is the idea that if you don't create that piece of art then it will never exist in the world and this is something that i struggled with for a long time because i think as people we're very quick to downplay ourselves or undermine our voices and how much we can add to a conversation so we might feel like other, other people can make this better other people have a prettier environment that they can make this in they like have more access to resources they have more experience than i do so who am i to like speak up on this matter but we don't need to be experts to speak about a topic and the truth of the matter is that nobody has your life experiences no one has your perspective no one has your personality no one has your specific sense of creativity and how you would film a video or how you would edit a video if you don't make a piece of art that you're thinking about then that art will never exist in the world and no one else has the ability to create that exact piece of art videos will naturally be unique because we as people are unique so even if someone else was making this video right now hoping that i say different things than other people have said in the past about this topic another thing so if we have on one hand that you're a unique person and no one else can create a video if you don't create it we also have that you're actually not that different from anyone else we are creating videos and we are putting them into a space where people who are like us in some way or another can come across the video and it can resonate with them for the multitude of identities that you have whether it's your ethnicity and how you're raised so me being south asian and raised in america or hobbies that you have interests or just the like little bits and pieces of you that's come together over the years as you formed your personality that comes out when we talk about things that we're interested in it's kind of like the idea that people say on tiktok where you've never had an original experience and it's true a lot of things are universally felt and so when you put these things online you're actually probably putting it into a very safe place where hopefully the youtube algorithm will do its job and give your video to people who also think the same way when you create something you don't realize its potential impact a lot of your journey when making anything happens during the journey so when you're planning when you're filming when you're editing when you're executing and then after it's all said and done you put it up but that's kind of your end with that piece of content but it's the beginning for someone else's where you might finish making a video and you're like not my best piece of work but i have it i'm gonna upload it other people might come across it and they're like oh this is very very lovely and i love this piece of art and i'm so happy that i came across it uh, using my own comments that i've gotten over the years as case studies one of my first videos was like a central park video it was very very cute at that time the video was oversaturated it was y very yellow and a couple years later i was like oh i don't like this i made it private i think it was a couple years after the video was filmed so i didn't really think anything of it or think that anyone would notice but i got a comment with someone asking where the video went because they like to rewatch it from time to time because it was a very comforting video for them next i think that this one is pretty self-explanatory but having a youtube channel obviously really fosters a great sense of creativity and a really good sense of like learning and development because you're working on these skills every time that you create a video i was thinking about this and when you're making a youtube video you are putting on so many different hats you are planning a video and then you're filming it so you're doing the job of a videographer then you're editing it like a video editor or you're color correcting it you're doing audio mixing which i don't really do those 
last two things even just designing thumbnails that's like a job that a graphic designer would do all of those are jobs that people actually do and all of those are skills that you just get better at with time i think all of these skills lead to new neural pathways in our brain and you're constantly flexing different muscles when you work on these things even if you put the creativity part aside you start to have an eye for things and if you keep going then you'll start learning more complicated things like what a jump cut is you'll learn about zooming in and how it can enhance your video by making it like more engaging you'll learn about keyframes you'll learn about masking i hate masking you can keep unwrapping and unwrapping all the skills that you get if you're making youtube videos it's also very interesting because a lot of the time you don't even realize that you're getting all these skills if you're treating it like a hobby or if you're just starting at these things and it's only like if you take a step back that you're able to recognize how much you've really grown in this when i first started making youtube videos it was something that i did in private and i never really told anyone so i never really got any feedback from people that i know but now whenever i tell someone that i have a youtube channel and i make videos they only have like really good things to say about it and they're like wow i don't know how you do that and i'm like what do you mean how do i do that it's like really easy but that's because i've just been doing it for a good while now and i've forgotten how scary and how unfamiliar all of these programs and all of these steps are to a person who's doing it for the first time you're also analyzing your own skills throughout the entire process so if you take youtube seriously and you're trying to make every video better and if you're really trying to grow on this platform then you'll probably start having thoughts sooner or later like how can i improve seo what would make this title better what would make my video more engaging you'll probably do competitor analysis and look at other people's videos and see what they're doing and so you're problem solving you're adapting Thing. you're doing so many different things youtube is like such a good hobby to do to learn all these valuable skills with because in comparison to something else like if you were starting a sport then inarguably you are going to be bad at a sport when you start like it's hard to be very very good at a sport from the beginning unless you're a prodigy but with youtube even if it's your first video and it's not the best video in the world it's still a good video like it's still your best video every video you kind of just like naturally improve i hear often like oh that's a really pretty thumbnail or oh it's so cool how you edit videos or i'll hear things like oh you have such a good eye for aesthetics i wish that i had your eye for aesthetics and whenever people tell me things like this it kind of sounds like like i was just bored this way with these skills but i know that, like i put a lot of work into it and this these are not things that came very naturally to me i also want to say on the topic of learning and development as it pertains to youtube that these are skills that really build resilience for me doing youtube was one of the first like long-term hobbies i picked up outside of school I never learned how to play an instrument my parents never signed me up for classes for anything so this is like the first thing outside of academia that I feel like I learned, which is actually quite interesting and a little bit sad. But it feels very good to come out of the other side and be like, yeah, I taught myself how to video edit or yeah, I know how to handle a camera sometimes. And you'll soon learn that the really cool thing about using YouTube as a platform and like making videos is that a lot of the tools that you use are pretty similar so once you know how to use like premiere pro you can use final cut pro you can use CapCut, you can use imovie a lot of the skills are very very transferable across programs and it leads to a lot of cool opportunities even though i have no formal experience in video production and i studied science in university i was able to get a freelance job as a video editor where i was using premiere pro and editing videos and getting paid for it and that is <laughs> with no real experience so the skills that you learn from making youtube videos are very legit and you're kind of creating like your own portfolio for the future if that is something that you want to go into the next reason you might want to make a youtube channel is because you get to document your life and create memories and for this point i am talking very specifically to my people who are on the brink of dementia because i have the worst memory and if i do not either journal take photos or record videos i will not remember anything entire months of my life will go forgotten in the garbage so making youtube videos has been really helpful for me to remember not only that things happened generally but also very very special memories one of the things that i did on my channel was my korea vlog series when i went to korea two summers ago with a bunch of my cousins i was very sleep deprived and i don't recall much that happened but I remember everything that I vlogged because then I had to edit it so I went through the content I watched it so many times I edited it for so long and I 
captured a lot of very funny, perhaps meaningless, but meaningful to me, memories. And you have it for the rest of your life, which is, I think, a good thing so youtube has been a very fun way for me to capture these memories and make it very fun and enjoyable not only for me but all the people that i share my videos with who are in the videos who also enjoy being recorded without having to put in all the effort of putting together a video i also think that making videos has really helped with communication skills i would not say that i am the best storyteller but it's definitely something that i've gotten better at over the years and being forced to try to make content that follows a logical flow that other people who are listening to you can also follow along has definitely helped that i'm learning that being very articulate and good at verbalizing your own thoughts is not an easy thing to do but having a channel and being in a situation where you are awkwardly recording yourself and forced to at least attempt to be articulate is really helpful it took this part from online but verbalizing thoughts, explaining concepts, and engaging with an audience contribute to the development of linguistic and social brain areas. And so making YouTube videos really helps something up here. Yeah, I'm on my last two points. And one of the other reasons why I think having a YouTube channel is really great is because of the idea of building a community online and how special that is so if you're watching this and if you have any interest at all in making youtube videos that's probably because you have a favorite youtuber and someone that you've watched over the years that you are part of their community so you understand how nice it is to have a community i think it's very very cool that through the internet we are able to find people who are like us who we might have never had a chance to meet in real life i'm still a very very small creator but it is so nice when i get a comment from someone who consistently comments on my videos who are like excited to see every video that comes out and it shows that you don't have to have like a very very large following to still have a sense of community this is what i wanted to end this with having a youtube channel gives you the ability to create your own story and write your own narrative as we grow up we're given these titles or these character distinctions usually placed on us by other people i was always a very shy very studious kid and i lived with that for a very very long time basically until i graduated university i never escaped that on social media you can be so many things you can decide to talk about anything that you want you can record your journey of learning a new skill it's endless i think without this platform and without social media in general i would just never have explored as many hobbies and as many potential interests of mine as I have done. When you're in high school, college, work, or any environment, you're kind of, like it or not, playing a role of who other people think that you are, and you're trying to fit the rules of each different place that you're in. But I think YouTube is a great platform for just truly being yourself and doing whatever that you want there was this quote that i got from a training one time and it goes your presence in the world is a story itself and you get to author its unfolding and that's what i feel like having a youtube channel does also with this new tiktok ban that is really stupid it just shows again that youtube has stood the test of time when it comes to social media and i believe that this is going to continue in the future and that youtube will always be here hopefully i communicated all of that clearly if i didn't then it's going to suck i really enjoy making youtube videos and thinking of the things i wanted to say in this video was kind of hard because there are so many ways i feel that having a youtube channel has influenced my life and how i think over the years but yeah i hope that this was fun and it gave you some hopefully new perspective on making any kind of art in general and if you are going to start a youtube channel or if you already have one i would love to watch your videos and yeah i think that's it i'm going to go goodbye <laughs>